there was some discrepancy regarding the the actual tariq. Nevertheless, 11th or 12th of Dhulah, <laughs> of Muharram, uh, 1425 Hijri, which is uh, in accordance with March the what, 3rd, 2nd or 3rd, 2004. Well, we left off last, Sheikh Ibn Thaymeen, rahimahullah, was explaining about those who differ with Ahlul Sunnah. Well, Jama'ah, the people of Sunnah and Jama'ah, regarding the Ulu of Allah, Tabarak Ta'ala. And this is taken from his tafsir that he's given for what uh, Shaykh al-Salam ibn Taymiyyah brought regarding ithbat ulu illah the affirmation of the ha- of the fact that Allah is above everything based upon the statement that is contained in the last of the ayah wa huwa aliyyu wa huwa aliyyu that particular portion wa huwa aliyyu and he is the the one who is most high the one who is above everything we explained that to some detail, and then he said there were those who differed with it. Ta'ifatani. Ta'ifatani. Two groups. Ta'ifa, a group that said that Allah Ta'ala, by His very essence, by His, and His self, whereas like we said, some people translate as person, fikuni makan. It's in every place. Hmm. That's one ta'ifa. O ta'ifa, one group, qalu, the other group said, Ver Allah ta'ala is not above the world, nor under the world, nor in the world, nor to the right of the world, huh? nor to the left of the world, nor is he disconnected from the world, nor is he connected to the world. Sheikh Nasser heard this statement, he said, these people lost their Lord. He said, these people lost their Rabb. Those who said that Allah Ta'ala is in every place, they bring their evidences for this statement. And of course the evidence that they're using, they're using it out of context and out of place and they're not understanding them correctly. But nevertheless, they study loon. They bring evidences. Like the statement of Allah Ta'ala, وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ and, and it's not in the earth. وَمَا يَكُمْ مَنَجْوَى ثَلَاثَةٍ And there's no one in a discussion, a private discussion of three. إِلَّا هُوَ رَعْبِئَهُمْ Except he is their fourth. وَلَا خَمْسَةٍ Five discussing. إِلَّا هُوَ سَادِسُهُمْ Except he is the six. وَلَا أَتْنَا مِنْ ذَلِكِ No one less than that. وَلَا أَقْثَرَ No one more than that. إِلَّا هُوَ مَعْهُمْ Except he is with them. أَيْنَ مَا كَانُوا Wherever he and they are. This is important to know this, Tidlad, so that you can know how to refute it. A brother who's not sound in the aqeedah and doesn't study the aqeedah and doesn't know the correct understanding, position of Sabbath, that's it. He's done for. A man brought a hujjah that he can't do anything with. Al-Mujadila, verse 7. They bring as evidence also the statement of Allah Ta'ala, هُوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ فِي سِتَّاتِ أَيَّامٍ He's the one who created the heavens and earth in six days. ثم استوى على العرش the rose of the throne يعلم ما يعلم ما يلج في الأرض he knows what goes into the earth وما يخرج منها what comes out of it وما ينزل من السماء what comes down from the heavens وما يعرج فيها what ascends to the heavens وهو معكم he is with you أين ما كنتم wherever you are وَاللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ بَصِيرٌ And Allah Ta'ala sees everything that you do. So the hadith verse 4. وَعَلَى هَذَا Based upon this, 
They say, فَرَيْسَ عَالِيًا بِذَاتِهِ Allah Ta'ala is not above and above everything. Huh? His self, his actual essence, his actual person is not above everything. But الْأُلُوَنْ دُهُمْ أُلُوَ سِفَةً But they say, أُلُوَ حَيْنَسْ is a highness of quality or description of a quality. أَمَّا الَّذِينَ قَالُوا And really we have responded for most of this in the past. And the Shaykh may, inshallah ta'ala, respond to it again. But we respond to it, most of it, in the, in the past. And uh, somewhat, and those brothers can go over those tapes in the past. But nevertheless, he goes on uh, in his presentation of those who differ with the people of Sunnah and Jama'ah regarding the highness of Allah. That he's not to be described with direction. فَقَالُوا They said, لَيْنَا اللَّهُ وَصَفْنَاهُ بِذَلِكَ Were we to describe him with that and with direction, then that means he would be a body. وَالْأَجْسَامِ Bodies are مُمَاثِلَةِ Look at their way of thinking. This leads to this, this leads to that. When their whole premise from the get-go is mistaken. Their whole premise from the inception from its, uh, from the, from the thought is incorrect. Well, bodies are similar one to another. So this is a, this must means a tamthil, it must require a tamthil, similarity. Wala based upon this, So we reject the fact that he's in any direction. So now the Sheikh is going to respond to the first group and the second group from two different aspects, or two different ways. Well, what's the old first way is to show the falsity of what they use as evidence. What's the second aspect is to show that there's an affirmation in the evidences that I use and I need the aqati'ah, that are absolutely and totally true, and totally uh, uh, sound evidence, that shows the opposite of what they're saying, that affirms the opposite of what they're saying. First point, regarding the first point, for naqul, we say, to those who claim that Allah took Ta'ala was his actual person, his actual self, is in every place, da'wakum hadhi da'wa batila. Your statement here, your claim here, is a false claim. This is the first part. It's batila. It's false. And it is rejected by asama, the revelation, Quran and Sunnah, wal aql, the intellect, the mind. And what they have said regarding Allah Taala being everywhere by His that, by His actual person, the actual self of Allah Taala being everywhere. Some translations the actual essence, however you understand that. What they say regarding that issue is to is rejected from the standpoint of the Sam, the revelation, Quran and Sunnah, and from the standpoint of the aql, the intellect. Rationally, intellectually it is rejected. Amma Sam, regarding the revelation, regarding Quran and Sunnah. Then Allah Ta'ala has affirmed for himself that he's Al-Aliyu. The one who's all high, above everything. And the verses that you use, huh, as evidence for what you're trying to use it for, are not evidence for what you're using it for. لَإِنَّمَائِيَ <laughs> If we take the term ma'iyya, for something to be with something, there's no third except there's a fourth. Like this, we're going to get to what that means, Akhi. You don't leave here thinking anything incorrect, inshallah. Ma'iyya. Ma'iyya. If Allah says, in Allah ma'a sabirin, there Allah is with the patient. In Allah ma'a muhsinin, there Allah is with the Good doers. And like this, ma'iyah, to be with, 
does not necess necessitate al hulul that you are in that particular place, that you're within that particular thing, that you're in that particular makan. That's not a requirement when you say something is with something. Do you not see that the Arabs say al qamr ma'ana? The moon is with us. You may say it in good old classical English. You look out the window, the moon is with us. Even though the moon is where? The sama, in the heavens. The man may say, My wife is with me. Huh? And he is in the east and she's in the west. Uh -huh. With me on this matter. Like this. Wayakul Abbaabit lil Junood. And in the if you can say the, the sergeant, the, the chief, or the general, or whatever, saying to the army, go to such and such ma'arika, such and such place for the battle. And I'm with you. And really he's in the ghurfa, what's called ghurfa al-qiyada. He's in the room of strategy. And he's in a bunker, right? Strategy. You go here, y'all go this way, y'all go that way, right? Do this, you do that. Wahua ma'ahum. But he's with them. Wahum fi sahat al-kitab. They're up on the battlefield. So it's not a must that when you use the term ma'iyya, to be with something, huh? that the person is with or has companionship or is close or is actually physically there with that thing that he is saying that he is with. Abada, never does that, is that to be understood uh, as a necessity. Well, Ma'iya, and he being with something, its meaning is limited or restricted to whatever you're connecting it to. فَنَقُلْ أَحْيَانًا We say sometimes, this leaven ma'huma, This yogurt has some water with it. وَهَذِي mm. مَعَيَا This ma'iyya, this, this being together or being with, the term of this one being with this, in this case, means that's اختلاط, that it's a mixture. It means that it's an ikhtilat, a mixture. And a man may say, Mafa'i My possessions are with me. Huh? And they're in the house, not, and he's not even connected to them. You say, well, I got my possessions with me, man. You know? Came from such and such, and I got my possessions with me. The possessions are not physically there. You mean your possessions are what? In the house. Like this. He can also say that he has actually carrying his possessions with him. My possessions are with me. And they they're muttasal bihi. In the first case, they're munfasal. They're disconnected from him. But he said they're with him. In this case, he's holding them so they're muttasal bihi. They're connected with him. Then he's saying they're with me. Now, for how he carry me wahida? This is one word, this ma'iyya, being with something. But it differs depending on what it's connected to. So we say that the ma'iyya of Allah, Allah subhanahu being with his creatures, talik bi jalalihi, is in a manner that befits him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kasair sifatah, like the rest of his qualities. Fa'iyya ma'iyya Hakikiya, it is a, 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 a being with that is complete and it is realistic in reality. He is actually with us. Walakin hu of his sama. But he, Ta'ala, is above the heavens. Fis sama in the Arabic language can mean both of those. Fis sama and a fil ulu in highness. Ala sama. Based upon a thing that the harf al jar, harf al jar, ala, min, ila, can be used, what? Interchangeably. Everyone knows this. 
interchangeably. So if it's sama, it means ala sama. Like in Allah, the Ta'ala is above the sama. And at the same time, He is with us in reality also. Both of these are reality. Now, there are others who go into further explanation. The Sheikh may also do so. That with this, with this ilm, that he's alim, knows everything. With this, with this, uh, the fact that he sees us, sees everything. And all of these type of things can be used in that respect. As long as it's understood that Allah Taala is over his throne, in particular, and over everything in existence in general. Amadil al-Akli, rational, reasonable argument to refute this foolishness that they're claiming. Huh? And to show the falsity or the falsehood of their statement. Fanaqul, we say. إِذَا قُوتُ إِنَ اللَّهَ مَعَكَ فِي كُلِّ مَكَانِ She said that Allah Ta'ala is with you in every place. فَهَلْ يَزْرَ عَلَيْهِ لَوَازُ الْبَاطِلَةِ this, this place is on you all types of things that are false. Huh? Example of, amongst the things that will make your statement will make it uh, a necessity uh, or the necess necessary result of your statement is a ta'addad or taza'u. Yani parts. And Allah Ta'ala will be in parts and will be in numbers. Huh? Whenever you come to a result of something that shows a falsehood of something, at the end result, it shows that your argument from the beginning was that which is false. Thanian, Nukul, we say, He's with you in several places. Lazam and Yazdaad, this is Yadinas. Means that he will increase with the increase of the people. And decrease with the decrease of the people. It's very clear, right? If he's in one, then he's in the second. If he's in the second, then he's in the third. If he's in five billion people, then he's in five and a half billion people. Right? If he's, if he's, if he's in, if he's, uh, above, then he's below. And if he's below, then he's to the left. And if he's to the left, then he's to the right. And he has many amount, uh, I'm keen up places that you place them, you what make him numerous in this regard. Another matter is that you have not removed him or restricted him from places that are filthy and dirty. If you say that Allah to Allah is mock, that Allah is with you and you're in the bathroom, then this is the greatest disrespect to Allah to Allah. They don't say, well, Allah to Allah is with us. And then when we go into the restroom, he's not with us. Right? They don't say this. They say, Allah is with us. And then they want to use the ayah out of context and say, because there's no three except there's four. So three people in the bathroom, Allah will be the fourth, right? This is disrespect to Allah tabarak ta'ala. But the way you it becomes clear with this, that this statement is in opposition to a son. And in Revelation, Quran, and Sunnah, and in opposition to just basic, rational, reasonable understanding. And that the Quran does not give evidence to this, what they have claimed, not from any direction whatsoever. And the three manners of evidence that we took, evidence mutabaka, the and the tizam, which we explained, those three methods of giving evidence is not even to be found in this way. The Quran does not even, in other words, approach what they're claiming. Let alone be evidence of it. It doesn't even approach what they're claiming. Amal akharun, the others, when we say to them, the fact that you deny direction means that you have denied your Lord, Azawajal. Because we don't know anything that is not above the world nor is it below the world, nor is it to the right of the world, nor is it to the left of the world, nor is it connected to the world, nor is it disconnected world, except nothing. Illa al-adam. Al-adam, that's, that's the quality you have just described. Adam. 
you had a met if you had if you could try to come up with a best way to explain what is nothing that's the best way to do it you would say nothing is that which is not in the world <laughs> nor above the world nor below the world nor to the right of the world nor to the left of the world not connected to the world not disconnected to the world that's nothing al adam well it happened by the ulama some of the scholars said no kilana if it was said to us describe Allah with nothingness we would not have found more truthful statement or more truthful description than what these people have said the descriptions they have given them right finally and second thing all come is back to jaha the fact that you affirm for Allah direction and this is why some of them don't want you pointing above they think it's kufr see you say what you doing you point your finger above they believe it to be kufr and they don't know in this banner that they have uh, connected it to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam kufr prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam on hajjat al wada what did he do but point above and then point at the people and point above and point at the people he not only pointed above once he pointed above three times pointed above then pointed at the people pointed to say allahumma then pointed at the people fashhad witness allahumma fashhad witness like this three times so this is their thing because they say that if you did if you point or give a direction you have uh made tajseen this is what they they call ahl sunnah mujassama the people who make tajseen the people who give Allah a body this is one of their their um, uh greatest accusations against the people of sunnah people of hadith right because they don't have any understanding he said nahnu no ma kishukum we we'll discuss with you this word jasm body ma hadam jasm what is this body that you people are running from uh affirming as a quality of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and al jasm alladhi tanfiruna an-nas in itibat sifati Allah min ajli opposite way he said it what is this jasm that you are trying to make people deny the qualities of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala huh fearing that they will fall into affirming a body huh and you pushing people away from uh ascribing that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about himself and in the book and in the sunnah hoping what that they don't fall into what ascribing for Allah jism a body are to read on the jism do you mean by the term body something maqawwan that is uh, uh and it connected no we're not connected but designed or composed min ashya for many things muftakiran ba'duha ila ba'd some of the parts of it is in need of other parts of it huh la yumkin an yaqum illa bi ijtima' hadhi ajza it's not possible for it to stand to exist except if all of these parts are together fana atum hada if this is what you mean then fa nahnu we agree with you allah taala doesn't have a jism with that meaning we have a ma'na that you're talking about you know no we agree with that wa man qala And who is it that said that it's back to uluh that when you affirm for Allah that he's high and above everything that therefore it means or must require that you are saying that he has a body a just for call who your statement mujarrad da'wa is nothing but a claim wa yakfina an naqul is enough for us to say la qabul we don't accept don't accept it whatsoever I'm in love to be just him, but if you mean by the term body, then there's a general principle here the Sheikh is giving us, even though he's not expressing it, and that is, when a word comes to you, ya ahl al-Sunni, ya ahl al-Sunni, ya athari, ya salafi, that you don't know what the individual intends by what he means, then you are not to reject it out of hand until you know what he means. And he, so you don't accept something mujmal al-qawl concise summarized statement of somebody until you get tafsir detail and this is exactly what the sheikh is saying he didn't say from the get go they said just somebody oh la 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 body like this no he's now discussing what do you mean by body you mean this 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 and this that is rejected if you mean this 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 and this then is accepted same thing with the term jihad or direction. If you mean this 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 and this, then it's accepted. If you mean this 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 and this, 
it is rejected. That why these words are not to be just taken or looked at loosely. But rather you take them, and if a person, you find out what they mean by what they're saying. What do you mean by what you just said? If what they have just said, after you get the details of it, tafsil of it, is correct, then it's correct. But if what they just said, after you get the details of it, is incorrect, then it's incorrect. Like this. So now he's saying, but if you mean uh, the first, if you mean the first thing by jism, and it's something composed of parts, huh? that one part is in need of the other part, and that this whole thing cannot exist unless all the parts are gathered, then Allah to tell us above all that. We reject that term, we totally reject that meaning, if that's what you mean by the term body. But now he's saying, but if you mean by body that person or that self that is established and by itself that is described in a manner that, that befits it we affirm that if that's what you mean right? in Allah inna lillahi ta'ala zatan that Allah does has a self, does have a person, right? Right? Does have an essence. Wahua Qaim bin Nafsih. And he subhanahu wa ta'ala sustains himself. Huh? Self-sustaining, not in need of anyone. Mutasabi Sifat al-Kiman. Having the qualities of all perfection. Wahadahu alladhi ya'lam bihi kulli insan. And this is what every person knows. This is what every man knows. Oh, what man or child knows, huh? Eh? Insan, he says. وَبِعَبِيَ تَبَيِّنْ بُطْلَانْ قَوْلَ هَا لَيْذِ نَسْبَتُوا عَنَّ اللَّهَ بِذَاتِ فِي كُلِّ مَكَانِ With this, we come to understand or show the falsehood or the falsity of those who say or affirm for Allah that He, His self, His person, He Himself, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, is in every place. Or that Allah, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, is not above the world and not under the world and not connected to the world and not disconnected to the world. وَنَقُولْ We say, who are out of Ash? He's upon his throne. It's the way. It's the way. Above his throne. A rose above his throne. It's the way with the four meanings that we took, I think, in the past regarding the four meanings of the stiwa. Azawajal. Amma adilu ta'ulu alladhi yuthbit biha naqiqo ala wa halai. The evidence of ulu, the highness of Allah, for which we can of that which, which affirm the opposite of what these two groups are saying. These two groups are saying. You have the two groups in your head. The group who are saying that Allah Ta'ala is in every place. And the group is saying that Allah Ta'ala is what? Nowhere. <laughs> He's nowhere. These two groups are both off of the hawk. And they're up on bat. Falsehood. So now he's going to bring evidences that show the highness of Allah Taala, the fact that Allah Taala is above everything, showing the opposite of the statements of these two groups. These two groups, that which the people of Sunnah and those who gather on it say, It's really, it's a lot of evidences. When you ask someone, what are the evidences of the highness of Allah? There are many. Ibn Qayyim brings in the Wabi Sayyid. This one brings in this one. Ibn Qayyim brings it also in, uh, he has a book called Gathering of the Army of the People of Tawheed against those who reject the names and qualities of Allah. And he brings all of these. And he means by the army every level of scholarship. Brings the statements of the Mufassirin. That's the army. And then they little rank themselves, the Mufassirin. Right? Brings all the statements of the Muhaddithin. That's an army. Bring all the statements of Ahlul Lugha, Nahu. That's an army. Bring all the statements of the poets and the like. That's an army. Bring all the statements of, like this. So he's saying, again, of all of them, the people proving this matter. So many evidences. The Sheikh says, there cannot be and calculated individually, really. There are types of evidences. Anwa. Huh? 
The types are five. Kitab, Sunnah, Ijma', Aqal, or Fitrah. Once again, the book, the Sunnah, the consensus of the scholars, the intellect, and the natural inclination or essence or fitrah that the people, that Allah has placed the people on. These are five types of evidences that show the oneness, the highness of Allah Ta'ala. The highness of Allah Ta'ala. Amma al-Kitab, regarding the book, it has given a variety of types of evidences showing the highness of Allah Azza wa Jal. Sometimes at-Tasrih, saying it clearly, huh? Clearly, at tasrih Suraha. Bil ulu, that he's high. Wal fawqiyya, that he's above. Was saud, huh? Like this, rising above. Al asha, above everything, huh? Or saud asha alay, that things rise to him, rather. Wa nuzuliha, and that things descend from him. Every evidence that talks about nuzul, that something descends from Allah, is the evidence of the highness of Allah. And every evidence that talks about something going up to Allah, righteous and good words and righteous actions go up to Him, is evidence of the highness of Allah. And like this. So the evidences are what? A variety of evidences showing the ulu of Allah. I'm a sunnah. From the Sunnah, also there are a variety of evidences. And the people of Sunnah uh, have agreed in these three types. Huh? And the three types that we have mentioned. Allah of Allah Ta'ala bidatihi. The fact that Allah Ta'ala is above everything by his, by his person, by himself. فَكَتَّبِرُ عُلُوا إِلَّا بِذَاتِ فِي Sunnah. And the Allah, the President of Allah has shown and affirmed the, the highness of the self and the essence of, of Allah Ta'ala in the Sunnah based upon his statements and his actions and his agreements. Hmm? Yeah, and he said, وَإِتَّفَقْ sunnah He means the three types of Sunnah. The three types of Sunnah, that's what he meant by that. What are the three types of Sunnah? Types of Sunnah. Yarahamakallah. Three types of Sunnah. Three types of Sunnah. Who was it that said statement? Jayyid. Jazakallah khair. No more than that, Barakallah khair. Not a hard question. Three types of Sunnah. What the Prophet said, what he did, and what was done in front of him, and he agreed. Say, I gave it the answer actually before I action. Wa amal ijma regarding consensus. Fakar ijma al Muslimi, Muslimun. Qabla zahur hadi tawaf al mutariyat. There's a consensus of the Muslims before the appearance of these innovative groups that Allah Tabarakal is mustawin ala ashihi that He may istiwa He arose of His throne. Fauta khalke. Above his the creatures. Qala Shaykh al Islam. Nama Shaykh al Islam said. Laysa fi kilam in la. It's not in the words of Allah. Nor in the words of his messenger. Nor in the words of the Sahaba. Nor in the words of the Tabi'een. Huh? Those who follow the Ihsan. Ma, that, that is evidence. Nothing rather as a text. Thine rather apparently. Adam Allah Ta'ala lays the focal arsh, that Allah is not above the throne. Wa lays the fissama, is not in the heavens, or you know, above the heavens. Bal kulli kalamihim, all of their words, muttafiq, are in agreement. Ala anna Allah foka kulli shaykh, that Allah Ta'ala is above everything. So Shaykh al Salaam al is basically telling us it's an ijma, man. It's an ijma. That Allah Ta'ala, you won't find any words from Allah or from the Messenger or from the Sahaba or from the Tabi'een or those who follow them be ihsan, who follow them righteously and correctly, saying anything other than that. Saying anything 
other than that. Amal aqal, regarding the reasoning or the intellect. But in the nanakul, verily we say, everyone knows that the highest, being above everything, is a sifat of kemal, perfection. And if it's a quality of perfection, then it's obligatory that one affirm it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yajib. Obligatory. Let Allah ta'ala, because Allah is exalted, muttasabi sifat al-kimal, is to be described with the qualities of perfection. وَلِذَلِكَ نَقُولُ Because that we say, إِمَّا يَقُولُ Well, either Allah Tabarak Ta'ala is high above everything or he's below and beneath everything or he's equal in level with everything. Huh? For asfal, for him to be below, subhanAllah. And for him to be equal or to say level, mumtadeh. It's impossible. Lina asfal, because being below is a naqs. It's a deficiency in ma'ana and its meaning. And being equal is similarity. Be similar to the creatures. And Allah Ta'ala is above being similar to the creatures. فَلَمْ يَبْقَى So nothing is left, brothers, إِلَّا الْعُلُو Except highness. هَذَا وَجْآخِرْ فِي الدَّلِيلَ الْأَقْلِ This is another aspect of rational evidence. أَمَّا فِتْرَ The fitra that Allah Ta'ala has placed to create creatures of all. That, natu that natural instinct. That natural instinct that the creature has. فَإِنَّ نَنَقُوا Verily we say, مَا مَنْ إِنْسَانْ يَقُوم There doesn't exist a person, a man who says, يَا رَبْ O oh my Lord Except that he fi finds in his heart this necessity that his heart is Pointing towards above. Requesting from that which is above. This is natural. There's nothing you can do about this. This is, uh, one of the Salafs said this to one of the Muqtadi'in. He was running his mouth and running his mouth and running his mouth about the, the bid'a that he had. Uh, trying to do, discourage and, uh, say that Allah Ta'ala was not over the throne and like this. So uh, the Imam, the Salaf, he just waited. Let him finish all his kalam. And I believe the man's name was, uh, the Salafi was, uh, Hamabani, I think it was. But anyway, nevertheless. So once he got done, he said, okay, all you saying is well and good. But tell me what I do about this feeling that I have. This inescapable feeling that I have, that when I call upon Allah, the feeling that He is above. Directing my call and prayer to one who is what? Who is above. And this is something, it's a fitra. Something that you find with a Christian. Something you find with a Jew. Something you find with somebody who's not going to connect. Fitra. There's nothing you can do about it. That when you pray, you're praying to someone who's above. God does even do it. Oh God. And they look up, right? Alright? They can't help it. Nothing you can do about it. Fitriyun, Akhi. It's from the fitra. So these are five adillah. Kitab, sunnah, ijma', aql, fitra. The book, the sunnah, the intellect, the nat, uh, and the uh, ijma', oh, I mentioned that, for fitra. Jayyid. Am'ulu sifat. For as the highness of Allah to God, his qualities, for whom mahal ijma, it is also a place of consensus. Min kulli man yudin. Oh, yatasamma bil Islam. For everyone who has a deen, or describes themselves as being a Muslim. Anyone yatasamma bil Islam, meaning saying that they're Muslim. We'll end here with the 16th point, and that is, it's battle affirmation of the greatness of Allah Azza wa Jal because he said at the end of Ayatul Kursi Al-Azim so this was affirmed 
When we pick up next time, bi ta'ala, it'll be the statement of the author, Qawl al-Mu'allaf, wa lihaza, and because of this, kana man qara hadhi ayah, it was for the one who recites this ayah, fi laylatin at night, lam yaza'la layhi min Allahi hafidhun, there will be upon him from Allah a guardian, wa la yakarabuhu shaytanu, and shaytan won't come near him, hatta yusbiha, until the morning. Ya Rabb. So this is basically uh, what, the, what we covered tonight regarding fin finishing up the tafsir of Ayatul Kursi uh, and he brought as an evidence by uh, Shaykh Al-Salim Taymiyyahullah regarding uh, the qualities of Allah Taala, and explained by Shaykh Muhammad bin Sari Alu Taymiyyah Rahimahullah Rahmatun Wasiyah no. No questions. There's a few good books in English dealing with the subject of the highness of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. I've seen them. I don't call the exact titles at the moment, but there's about two or three of them out dealing with this issue. And it's important that this issue be taught. You know. You teach, and the children be taught this, first and foremost, and that it be something that be upon any, uh, our tongues often. So I mean, when we say in a sajda, for instance, subhanahu wa ala, this is what we mean also. There's something that is in our sajda, and uh, I'm sure if you start to reflect upon it more, you probably find so many evidences of the ulu, of the highness of Allah Taala, and now of course there's just only one portion, the uh, ending portion of Ayatul Kursi. So it took us, uh, I mean, what, two or three days to get to that particular one, and he'll be going on and bringing many, many other verses. All of them verses that affirm various names and qualities of Allah Taala, and deny from Allah Taala uh, deficiencies and the like, because he's basing upon the fact that Allah Taala mentions his qualities in the form of nafi wa ithbat and the affirmation and denial. Khair inshaAllah. Naam. Thank you, sir. I'm Rahman for Allah. No, hak and batil, truth and falsehood is always going to have a battle. Are always going to be in conflict. And it's and it's a uh, it's a great wisdom in that, and it will always be that that situation. I mean, the the oneness of Allah uh, is even I mean is even more clear than anything else, right? But yet they worship other than Allah. So I mean that that sira they call it that battle between haq and batil will always be there, and people will always be deluded. They will always be uh, tricked. Always be those who are in a state of horror, you know, state of being deluded. Always ulama asu who know the haq but go against it. There's always the army of uh, ar rahman alhamdulillah, and always the army of shaitan. Always those who are mu'mineen, uh, mukhlisin, always the munafiqeen, who hate Islam, the zanadiqa, who fight Islam from inside. So it's not far as to, you know, it would be tantamount to saying, you know, how did Christianity get anything going? I mean, it's the most foolish belief on earth. You know? But how did Paul learn Christianity? I mean, how did a, a belief that started with Isa alayhi salam teaching one thing, and uh, when Allah raised him up, 
here comes this Paul teaching everything con contradictory to it, and it was accepted. <laughs> so it's like that. How can Vatan? No, the book I'm talking about regarding Aswan Safad is not Kawaii al Mufla. I'm talk I mean I'm regarding Ulu Allah. I'm talking about a book dealing specifically uh, dealing specifically with the highness of Allah Taala. No, even what is this? Kawaii. If it's Kawaii Mufla that you Mufla Mufla that you're asking about, yes, it's available in English. Maybe available in the tape room. I don't know if we have any more copies of it. But Kawaii the Mufla, and he by Sheikh Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen, like a salam, is available in Sha Allah Taala who, who, for whoever asked about it. Al Haq al Baat al Daim. And you have to also, it is through the uh, existence of that which is battle that the truth becomes known. Or the did, with opposites. The yeah? tabayyina you know, asha'u, things are known. Opposites are known. And the clarity of tawheed is shown by the existence of shirk. Clarity of sunnah is shown by the existence of bid'ah. Right? Clarity of ikhlas is shown by the existence of, of, uh, of riyah and these type of things. So when, when things are op opposites are present, 